Hey guys, today we're going to make the cherry blossom tree first. So all we need for this is I've just mixed up some white and red paint to make pink or you could just use pink paint. I've used some brown paint. I've got a drink bottle, just going to use the end of this. A piece of paper and a paintbrush. That is all we're going to need for this one. So if you don't have a bottle you can always use your fingers i'm going to start off just by getting some brown paint and making a cherry blossom tree so i'm not the best at painting it's not really my thing i'm sure yours will be fabulous just do some branches now i know this isn't live and it's a lot later than expected, but hopefully you'll still get a chance to do it. And it's not Chinese New Year until the 12th. So there's still a few days to get your pictures done and your crafts done. So I've just drawn a very basic tree for my cherry blossom. Then what I'm gonna do is just give this a little wiggle so I can I've just put mine in a paper plate you just give it a wiggle and then dip your bottle in it so the bottom is covered and then you're just gonna stamp oh I need a little bit more put some pretty little stamps on and so if you don't have the bottle so just use your fingers and you can get a similar effect. I think my fingers actually working better than the bottle. So I'm just going to get some of this all around the branches. I'd start with the easy one and then we're going to move on in a minute and when you're all done you should have a lovely cherry blossom tree so for the next one we're going to make a Chinese dragon from an egg box so all you need is two egg box cartons I had a big egg box egg box egg box so I've used half of that and then you cut a section off so just two pieces. You might need two egg boxes for yours. Some paint in any colour you like. A few pieces of coloured card or paper. Some tissue paper, any colour you like. Some paints, a stapler, a glue stick or some PVA glue, a pencil and a pen. So we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is paint my egg box. You can paint that in absolutely any colour you like. I've only got a teeny tiny paintbrush. So I'm going to paint mine red, I think. The main bit I'm going to paint red. This bit here. And the little bit. We only paint the outside. And then the little bit I'm going to paint green or pink maybe. Because I've got some pink left over from the last one. I have managed to find a slightly bigger paintbrush so it shouldn't take quite as long now this one hopefully you haven't got as much writing on your egg boxes mine are covered in writing so you're going to be able to see it through the paint unless I give it a couple of coats but you'll have a lot more time to do more coats on yours in between you can let it dry a bit just get mine on as thick as I can. So you just want to paint the whole of the outside of the box so that you can't see anything that was underneath.
Right, now that bit's all painted, I'm going to paint this little piece here. I'm going to do mine in pink just because I have some left over. You can do yours any colour you like. Now that we've got both of these painted, wait till they dry and then we're just going to stick those together. You can use anything you like really. You could use PVA, you could use a glue stick, you can use sellotape I suppose. Just pop those two together as soon as they've dried and we'll move on to the next bit. Now I think it's starting to look like a dragon but what we're going to need is maybe some flame type cardboard cutouts that we can sit on the side of him for a mane, things like that. So next, what we have to do, get a couple of pieces of coloured card in any colour you like. I'm using yellow, green and like a pinky colour. Then we're just going to draw sort of a little bit like a flame. So... Maybe something like this. You could maybe draw around your hand. Just draw some shapes like this. Maybe a little more spiky. However you'd like to do it. And then we're going to cut those out. And we'll stick them on once everything's dry. So I just put three pieces of card together. I put some pink, yellow and blue and cut them all out. So now I've got some little shapes for my mane. They're all different shapes. And then we still need to do a nose. So we need to do a shape. Let me show you maybe what colour nose is he going to have. I think I'm going to do mine with a yellow nose. So we just need a yellow piece of paper or any colour you like. We're going to do a shape like this. Let me see. Like a line and then two bumps. Maybe some little nostrils in the middle. And then we'll cut that out. I might make mine a little bit bigger. I'm doing here instead. You can do yours any shape you like. That's how I'm going to do my dragon nose. You can always turn it over. Oh. Then I'm just going to get a pen, I'm going to use a sharpie, and I'm just going to draw two little dots for his nostrils. And I'm also, mine isn't dry yet, but when it is dry, I'm just going to do, I'll do mine anyway, two little eyes. It's not going on very well because it's not dry. But when it is, I'll colour in his little black eyes. So for the so for the next bit, again, mine isn't dry. Hopefully you've left yours to dry for long enough and it'll be a lot easier to stick. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on my nose. And I'm going to... Oh, can't even pick it up. Just going to stick that on here. And then I'm going to pop some glue. Going to pop a bit of glue on the back of these. That's a bit too much. So I'm just going to rub that around a bit. And have them 
maybe from about here. Mine is still wet, so it's not going to stick very well. And maybe another one here. And then do the same on the other side. I'm going to put a little yellow one on as well, I think. Mine are sliding all over the place. But when they're dry, they won't. They'll be a lot easier to do. For the last bit, we're going to get some tissue paper. So I've just got some orange tissue paper here. And I'm going to pop it down. And I'm going to draw some scales on the back of it. So like dragon scales. I can't really... I suppose they'd be like fish scales. I'm not sure, really. So, any way you like. Mine are just going to look like that. And then, in a minute, I'm going to staple this on to the back of the dragon. You can go all the way down if you like. Now... Bear in mind, none of my stuff stuck together very well just because I haven't waited for it to dry. So yours will be dry, hopefully, and it'll be a lot easier to stick. So all I'm going to do with this is just fold it around until I can get it to fit in here. And then I'm just going to staple this piece. To the egg carton and the same on the other side so you've got a dragon with a flowing back i suppose let's turn this around what do you think i think he looks quite cute it wasn't the look i was going for i wanted him to be a bit rawsome but he's cute, I think. So hopefully yours will look a lot better than mine. I can't wait to see them. So for our next craft, we're going to be making a Chinese lantern. This one's pretty simple. All we're gonna need is a piece of pink or red, ideally card, or you could use white card and some red or pink paint or coloring. I've got a pair of scissors, a pipe cleaner, I'm going to put glitter on mine, so I've got a glue stick, you could use PVA glue, and some sellotape. So all I'm going to do with this is get my glue stick, because I already have pink card, I'm just going to pop some glitter on it. So I'm just going to glue all over my card. And then I'm going to get my glitter shaker. some glitter all over it my card's actually quite pink it was meant to be red because red is considered lucky by the Chinese people so that's why they use it a lot for Chinese New Year now all we're gonna do is fold this in half lengthways exactly in half if we can you should probably wait for it to dry but mine isn't so we're just going to do this. I'll leave that to dry for a second while I go and wash my hands. And now all we have to do, you might need a grown up to help, is get your scissors and you could draw some lines on if you need to. And we're just going to cut not all the way up. So we're going to go through both pieces of paper, or both sides of the paper, but not all the way to the top because we don't want it to go all the way through. Just going to make some snips all the way down. Doesn't really matter how many you do. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're going to go for one more. So then we've got eight. You might have more or less, that's okay. And then we're gonna roll our card up, pick it up, and then we're gonna fold gently, because we don't actually want to make a crease. 
so that these two pieces, the shorter sides, meet together. And then we're going to glue one inside the other. So if you just get a piece of sellotape or some glue, I'm going to glue mine. So just put some glue stick all the way up there. And then I'm going to stick the inside of that piece onto there. So now you almost have your lantern. See? Mine's thick paper rather than card, so it's not standing up very well. So now all we have to do is add some like a handle. So I'm gonna my I've got my pipe cleaner. Mine's oh a bit big. I'll put that a bit further back so you can see it a little better. So we're just gonna add our handle to here. I'm gonna cut my arm. I'll just cut an end off because it's a bit too big at the minute. And then I'm just going to fold my pipe cleaner like this. Just put a piece either side. Now you can, oh, you could glue it or you could sellotape it. I'm going to pop a bit of sellotape on mine. I think that'll be easier. So just put it in, pop a bit of sellotape over, and that should keep it there. And the same with the other side, just get a little bit of sellotape, pop it in and sellotape it together. You could always use a staple for these bits here. And these, and there we have our Chinese lantern. And then we're on to the last one. So we are on to the last one, which is gonna be a Chinese drum. All you need for this is a couple of paper plates. I've got two there. Uh, you could use some paint or some colouring pencils or pens to decorate if you wanted to. Obviously a paintbrush if you're painting. Then you're going to need something to hold on to it with. I've got this straw or you could use a dowel or a lollipop stick. Some sellotape, some string and beads. I've already put my beads on mine. And a stapler or maybe if your parents have got a glue gun that would work as well. So this one is really simple. All we're gonna do, oh, knock, knock my phone over. Let's see if I can set this up. So I'm just gonna get my two paper plates and my lollipop stick. I'm gonna pop the lollipop stick there and then pop the paper plates there. Now what I'm going to do is staple this bit to make sure that they stay together. You could use a hot glue gun. Glue doesn't tend to work very well with these because the plates are coated in something shiny to make them, I suppose, hold food and gravy and things. So next we've got, I don't know if you can see this very well, so we've got our first bit done then all we have to do is halfway up we're going to pop in about here so if you can see that just going to put the string inside and then just line it up again and then i'm just going to put a staple straight through that bit so that it holds it together hopefully should hold my piece of string in place and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side so just put a little bit of that string inside it's a bit fiddly my little one is trying to be quiet that's my mother laughing because I've asked her very specifically to be quiet so I could make this so we're going to put a little staple through there as well. And then I would just put some more staples all the way around just to make sure it stays together. At this point, if you wanted to, you can decorate your plate any way you like. Like I said, pens, paint. I'm just gonna get a Sharpie draw on some Chinese symbols I think let's have a look see if I 
can get some little Chinese symbols on here. So I don't know what these mean. I've just copied them from Google. But... You could decorate yours however you wanted to. I was going to paint mine red, but I don't think my youngest is going to allow me the time. So you've got your Chinese symbols. And then, let me just lift my phone up. Let me put a couple more staples in here, actually. Because that looks a little bit wobbly. That's better. And then you've got yourself... Chinese drum or a noise maker. That's wobbly. So I hope you had a great time. Let me see all of your fabulous creations. I can't wait to have a look at them. Have a nice day.